Well, hello and welcome, everybody. I am super excited to be here with you today. I uh, want to introduce myself. My name is Brad Stevens. I am CEO of Entraholic, and my goal is for this to be one of the most valuable webinars that you've ever attended. You can see a picture of me here, actually, in one of our trusty Entraholic t-shirts after a uh, after a jam session we did with a bunch of entrepreneurs. You can flat uh, fill up a whiteboard. But, um, you know, today, you know, no matter where you are in your journey, okay, whether you're just starting a business, you're growing a company, or maybe you're just trying to find some ways to get ahead in your career, this webinar is going to equip you with skills and a mindset that can, that can really be game changing. Because do you ever wonder, you know, why do some people get ahead, you know, way faster than others in business and in life? How, how did they do it so quickly? Well, they, they had to start somewhere. And the secret for many of them is, is what you're going to learn today, okay? It's the power of outsourcing, how to automate and delegate and grow or start your business, okay, on a shoestring budget. So I'm going to be uncovering just a whole new world of, of how, to things, how to get things done today. Um, I'm going to share a little bit more on my story in a second here, but you're the primary focus right now, okay? You, your time is super valuable, I know, and, and I want to make sure that, that you get a ton of value because that's exactly what it was like for me when I first learned these approaches. And as I said, it's really been a game changer you know, ever since. You know, a lot to cover, but we're going to try to move through it pretty pretty quickly here. Um, so one of the cool things about learning how to automate and delegate all right, is that you usually get three for one, okay? And, and that's why it's had such a, a big impact for me is that, you know, first, it can help increase revenue and leads, okay, which we all certainly need. You know, second, it's gonna, you're going to learn how it can dramatically reduce cost in a number of different ways, all right? And lastly, it'll help give you your time back, okay? Um, which is one of the most precious resources. So this is definitely going to be worth your, your time today. And um, also, you know, from a mindset standpoint, um, this, the, the goal of what I'm going to go, go through here is to help really redefine your, your thought process, okay, of how to get things done. We're going to be covering things today that really going to help adjust your whole way of life skills, all right? Not just business skills. You're going to see how you can apply these tactics to automate and delegate um, in a lot of parts of your life, okay? And the world is changing fast, all right? And, and once you understand how to effectively automate and delegate and use some of these techniques that, that very few people kind of know, um, you'll always be ahead of the curve. I'm always amazed. I just did a, a, a you know, presentation a couple of weeks ago in a room of 70 people and, and asked people raise their hand of who's familiar with these techniques and you know, like three people. So um, it, it's changing fast and, and this is an opportunity to learn some things that are going to put you way, way ahead. All right, so there's a ton of things that you'll be able to do once you learn how to automate and delegate, all right? But there's, there's three secret techniques that are really among the most valuable, all right? Um, first, you know, we all need more leads, right? So you know, instead of having to overpay for low quality lists or just wait on inbound leads, um, you're going to get a detailed roadmap, all right, how you can get up to a thousand highly targeted leads with full contact information, all right? And you don't have to, you know, stop there. Um, you can repeat the process and get three to, to 5,000 or as more as you need or are available for your market. Um, but you can at least get a thousand. And I mean name, uh, e email address, industry, LinkedIn profile, Facebook page, and lots of more information I want to share with you, uh, all for, for under $150 and sometimes less, less than $100. Uh, I'll show you how to do the same thing to, to get a list of like industry influencers, bloggers, uh, PR individuals for, for, your, for your industry. Uh, next, you're going to learn how to get immediate market intelligence, all right? Very, very low cost and, and fast. Uh, so if you're trying to launch a new product, find your niche, or get a list of potential competitors and, and their pricing, um, this is, this is going to show you how. This is the kind of information, okay, that, <laughs> that typically takes a ton of time and costs a ton of money. And I got some great case studies I'm going to show you on this. Uh, but most people don't do it. And it's, it's really where people waste a bunch of time launching a new product or, or product line because they, they didn't have the right information. And again, I got some great examples I'm, I'm going to show for you. And you'll be amazed at what you can get, how quickly. Uh, and third, all right, third, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a, a highly effective um, evergreen kind of email list building strategy, all right? It's one of the most critically important things for your business. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, all right, quick and, uh, and super cheap, all right? And, uh, and for sticking around, I'm actually going to share a few more bonus examples of things that you can automate and delegate super low cost and fast, uh, such as like video production, SEO, social media, bookkeeping, um, and, and a lot more. And I'm even 
even going to show you how I used a freelancer to find the perfect wedding venue for my for my wife and I. So hopefully you'll see how powerful this information can be, right, to your life and your business. Like I said earlier, the goal is for this to really redefine your mindset of how to get things done, right? So um, I thought I'd share this this gentleman I met a few years back. His name's Russell. Uh, he owns a very successful IT services company. And um, after receiving some of the same training you're getting today, this is what he had to say. He said, Brad, you know how sometimes you learn things in life that just change the game? Well, this is one of those days for me. Thank you. Isn't that awesome to hear? You know, we, we all enjoy compliments, right? And it just feels so good to hear that I've had that kind of, of an impact. So when you leave this webinar, my, my goal is for you to have several aha moments just like that. Um, all right, so I want you to hang with me here, okay? Because I know how valuable this can be. And, and my goal, all right, is if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how to get three really powerful tools um, so that you can automate and delegate um, you know, starting quickly. Uh, first, all right, you're going to receive the seven steps to getting your digital house in order, all right? This is this is one of the exact guides that we use with our high-end agency clients, all right? Uh, it's going to really walk you through the process methodically. All right, next, you're also going to get a, um, and also on that, you're going to get like a video walkthrough of exactly how I, how to complete that. Um, secondly, you're you're going to get, um, you're going to learn about a really, really cool tool um, that you'll, It'll show you how to see your competitor's entire online marketing strategy, okay? Um, I think you guys will probably find that pretty valuable. Uh, it'll show you their ad words, their keywords, um, their, their marketing performance. So if you want to know the business down the street or, you know, if you're an online business, you know, what are they doing to drive traffic? Uh, where, where are they getting their, their ads? How are they creating them? Um, a lot of people spend thousands of dollars on, on research, and, and this is going to be a tool that does it for free. All right, and last is a secret bonus, all right? One that I have uh, never shared before. So... Uh, oh, bring up there. Um, so you know, stay until the end, and you're gonna learn how uh, all these can can be yours. All right. All right. So, what makes this different? All right. Why listen to me? So you know, just out of respect for you. All right. I like to know <laughs> something is worth my time, and I see a lot of webinars and programs these days where someone does something and once, and all of a sudden they're an expert. Well. I've been doing this for 15 years as a career entrepreneur. My, my current company is called Entreholic, okay? And as the name implies, it's an addiction to entrepreneurship, right? Um, you know, ever since graduating college, I've been a business owner and I've helped start and build businesses with multi millions in sales. And I've had some, you know, had some failures along the way, which is also part of what helps build my experience. Um, you know, but all entrepreneurs do. And, and you just kind of navigate and find, find the way to win. But I love it and I've gotten, gotten pretty good at it. So, uh, just to share, I'll, I'll share a few, few recent events. Um, this is actually a picture of an attendee that, that uh, uh, I, an attendee emailed this to me afterwards of people standing out the door. This was the most attended session that they've ever had for this event in several years. Um, the most attended breakout session, uh, speaking on the type of topic we're covering today. I mean, people were just, you know, really tying into the whole concept of how to automate and delegate and get more time back, get more money back. Um, if you look really close, you can actually see me really uh, tiny up there up front. Um, and I was also recently invited to be just one of 38 speakers for the Entrepreneurs Organization uh, with 12,000 members uh, worldwide. Uh, they did a nonstop 24-hour global education series for individuals um, around the world. So, and, and I've had the same opportunity with, uh, with many other businesses and, and organizations, uh, as you can see here. Um, so I just share these so you know you're in good hands today. Uh, with someone who's been around the block, who's really passionate about this, and, and knows what they're doing. So let's both make the most of this experience today, all right? Um, this is some great content, and if you miss it, it's gone, all right? So just, you know, a little housekeeping. Let's just turn off all the distractions, right? Your phone, your email, your Skype, you know, I know Facebook, you know, whatever it may be that's kind of distracting. Really give yourself this time, okay, to work on your business versus in it, all right? Really sink into this content to discover something new. All right, and use uh, use the chat box, all right, to post any questions as we run through. And want to make this interactive, I'll ask some questions as we uh, as we go through it um, as well. All right. So to set the stage for what I'm about to share, all right, let's first talk about the value of time. Okay, we all want to spend it with our family, with our friends, with our passions, and obviously, you know, within our businesses and careers. But the thing is, most of us struggle, right, to find enough time to do all that we want. I know my, my wife and I, we have a new, uh, we have a little nine-month-old, and, and I tell you, babies, they take a lot of time, as uh, you probably know, but I want to have the time and freedom to spend it with her, all right? And because I've automated and delegated and figuring out a lot of these strategies, I have that time, and uh, I actually share uh, 
In fact, I have to admit, I had a little help in, in putting this uh, the slides together initially for this webinar. Our little one actually found the uh, <laughs> found the microphone to be pretty tasty in the process. All right, so money. Money is the second very important item in our life. The other scarce resource that we're always trying to make it stretch as far you know as we can. And and what I found is that the most successful individuals, okay, and, and those that master the concept really of leveraging both time and money, okay, they they use leverage, automation, and delegation to really execute and live their their passions and and and, and build their businesses. Um, and get ahead in their careers. They know how to spend their time and money in the most high impact areas because ultimately that's what translates into growth, okay, and freedom, which we're going to talk about more. Because you see, with without automating and delegating, th this is typically what happens, okay? And, and see if any of these sound familiar. <laughs> you know, there's never enough time to get it all done. You want to get your business out of the ground, all right, but it costs too much and, and you're not sure how to get it done. Um, you know, you want to grow your company or, or your business, but you're struggling with time, cash flow, and, and strategy. All right, we're going to show you where you can outsource strategy. Really, really crafty way of a, a resource that, that gets it turned around quick and fast and very cheap. Um, uh, you need lower cost, higher quality leads. All right, you know you're losing ground every day. You're not doing digital marketing, but you don't know where to start because there's so many options that are, you know, that are out there. So, wouldn't it be great to say goodbye, right, to these challenges forever? With automation and delegation, all right, it really can be possible. So I'll relate these challenges real quick to like the typical growth path of a business, all right, which I'm sure many of you can relate to, and I certainly know I can. Um, and I like to look at it as, as kind of three points, all right. So point A, all right, is the startup phase, all right. It's when you're when you're trying to find your way. You know, things are up and down. You're trying to figure out cash flow and customer market fit, um, and, and then you get to point B, right, where where you start finding your way a bit. You get a little bit more predictability, and you start getting some traction. All right, but then you hit the growth ceiling, okay? <laughs> That's where time and money get super scarce, right? And you need another layer a lot of times of people and systems, and, and you need things to stretch further. You know, and some businesses deflect, right? They, they never get through, right? They, they deflect off the growth ceiling. Um, while others, all right, they get to point C, all right, which is scale, all right, where you get your life back. And, you know, while I found that, that leverage and automating and delegating is, is critical, okay, throughout the entire life cycle of a business, um, not only for yourself, but then, you know, teaching and, and, and showing your staff how to, how to automate and delegate um, and, and increasing their productivity, it's really incredibly important to get through points A and B. Um, and it's, it's, if, if not, it's really hard to kind of break through, through the growth ceiling that you see here. And, you know, most of the business owners, you know, they get stuck at point B, right, and they have the constant anxiety of unpredictable revenue. And, and trying to figure out where the new opportunities are going to come from. And, and I certainly have, have been there. It's what you keep, you know, keeps you up at night, the old cliche. Um, and I know we've all experienced it, you know, that you're in the middle of the ocean and <laughs> you're stressed out and you're trying to figure out where your next sales are, are going to come from. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. All right, so real quick on my story, and I know a lot of people go into like you know, long, long, long uh, dissertations here, but, you know, I, I just... I know some of you may know me, some of you may not, but um, you know, either way, I, I like to just share my background quickly, just so you can trust what I'm about to teach you, um, so you can learn really how to automate and delegate, just just like I've done. So I'm an Atlanta native, actually from Georgia, third generation entrepreneur, and from a young age, I, I knew I wanted to run my own company. I had a I had a toy rental business in third grade. I had a, a tutoring company in high school, um, and after high school, I was actually accepted to Harvard. Um, I intended to major in economics, uh, maybe get my MBA there. But honestly, like once I got through my first year, um, I met a lot of amazing people and a great experience. But I just realized economics just wasn't hitting the spot for me. I, I wanted to do like a more traditional business undergrad, you know, kind of take marketing and finance and accounting. Um, so I transferred uh, and finished my undergrad at, at uh, Wharton at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, and uh, that's actually where I graduated. And my goal was to, you know, get a job, you know, for a year, few years after I graduated, make some money, pay back some student loans. I uh, actually got a job in investment banking, and but there was only one problem. Right? The company declared bankruptcy three weeks before I was scheduled to start. So uh, I got to decide at that point, you know, to get another job or to go ahead and start my entrepreneurial career. So I decided to jump in and choose the second option. And, and over the fat last 15 years, I've, I've started and grown uh, several companies in different markets, professional services, physical products, including manufacturing and distribution um, and software as well. And, you know, being just out of undergrad, you know, from one of the best business schools in the country when I, you know, when I started, I, I figured I knew exactly, right, exactly what I needed to start and grow in a thriving company. 
Um, well, quickly found out I was wrong. And, you know, another one of the old cliches, but so true is, um, you know, school was a great foundation, but, you know, some of the most important lessons I learned was the old school of, of hard knocks and, and figuring out things, you know, along the way. I was... I was just working nonstop and, and I just never had enough time to get it all done and, and trying to figure out how to grow and, and scale. And and for me, you know, those three arrows were, were going in the wrong direction a lot of the time, right? You know, enough, not enough sales and leads, you know, the costs were increasing. I, I just, I didn't have enough time, you know, and it was, things were taking forever. No matter how many hours I worked, I couldn't seem to get it all done. There just had to be a, a better way. And, um, and this is even after kind of growing and building with staff, you know, it just, it seems like there's always something more to do. Uh, but then I had what I, I jokingly call the game-changing Mexican dinner. Um, so, you know, a number of years ago, I, I was out with a friend, you know, having a Mexican restaurant, and I, and I told him about this amazing website that I had just gotten done for several thousand dollars. Then he told me about this platform he found, and he showed me this incredible website he got completed for only 250 bucks. It blew me away. That was my aha moment. It completely changed the game for me. I decided then and there, I need to figure this out, learn how to kind of automate and delegate what he did and getting this done. So I went home that night and I literally did not leave the computer for like five hours, just studying, you know, this platform and how he did this um, and what can be accomplished by automating and delegating. And, you know, since that day, it's changed everything for me. Just like I shared that quote in the beginning with Russell, his experience, that's, that's what I had. Um, and I realized it was, it was a lot more, all right, than websites, but tons of stuff that you can get done. Um, but didn't, you know, that we you didn't have the time or, or money, uh, to, to do at the time. So, you know, blogs, uh, social media management, um, brochures, videos, press releases, uh, white papers, market research, infographics, um, you know, even bookkeeping, um, uh, telemarketing. And so much more, even administrative things. So it was marketing related stuff and operation stuff and financial stuff. And, um, and I even discovered like really crafty things that you could do, such as uh, data mining um, for, for custom lead lists, which is one of the things that we're going to cover today. I found I could, I could get like almost anything done with high quality at a fraction of the cost with rapid turnaround. Once I learned and taught my team how to automate and delegate, okay, it changed the game. Um, I was able to 10x my productivity and and I'm going to show you how the same thing can happen for you. And as I mentioned at the beginning, um, you know, uh, I was on that last slide. Yeah. So just sharing, you know, as far as automate and delegate really is, is was the key to figuring out how to get all these things done in, in a much more efficient way. Um, so, you know, as I just mentioned in the, in the beginning, since learning how to perfect this, I, I, you know, I've had the opportunity to, to speak um, for a number of different organizations and, you know, and actually got an audience of worldwide and in some cases, including universities, radio, podcasts. Uh, and the entrepreneurs organization that I mentioned, and I actually serve on the board for the for the Atlanta chapter here, um, and I co-chair our accelerator program, which is designed to help get companies to you know the million dollar mark in three years or less. It's a whole volunteer you know um, organization, but you know just I had a lot of experience in, in in this space, and I've also used it to help causes that are really you know important to me. I helped uh, co-found an annual uh, skeet shooting event that we do to benefit um, a local breast cancer charity. And with nonprofits, you know, there are very few funds, and we were able to use automation and delegation um, to get things done in budget, you know, for, for a great cause. So, so we're about to, you know, step into this here. And, and so just, you know, imagine, you know, imagine if you could run a business from anywhere with just the internet, right? Okay, what if you could have a steady stream of automated leads coming through, right? Run a business that grows organically with automated systems and processes, right? Isn't that what we all want <laughs> as business owners? You know, you still got to put in a lot of work, okay? There, there's no doubt, and I'm, and I will be the first to say. But the thing is, is put you can put systems in place so that your business will run smoothly, okay? And it depends on your company, but it will also give you the freedom to work, you know, anytime from from anywhere. You know, and I share this um, because at the end of the day, you know, the most important thing to to me and most of us is is family, okay? I saw a recent survey that entrepreneurs. Um, and over 40% of them uh, said that providing for their family was, was their main motivation. You know, there, there's money and freedom and all of that, but, you know, that's one of the main drivers. Um, this is actually a picture of my wife and our little one. Uh, she was showing us her first, uh, for her first art project. 
Um, you know, these mo moments are just priceless. And, and learning to automate and delegate allowed me to change the most important parts of my life. So I'm not on an 80 hour a week treadmill and, and can spend more time with, with both of them. So let's jump in and discover how you can start building that business and life you're after. Hopefully I've established some credibility with you and, and, um, and a good context and mindset as we go into this. Um, but just one other thing, you know, I'm, I'm someone that likes to do things by the book and this is something I need to go over. All right. As it's a legal requirement by the FTC and that anybody, okay, offering information services or any kind of free uh, information, um, whether it's paid or free legally should review this. Uh, and as you can see here, it's what my, <laughs> my trusty attorney here, um, advises, but, uh, but you probably experienced this in your own business, you know, and it's important that people understand. Um, I think it really reinforces the need for action and that there's a reason for it. So, you know, this is not a get rich quick program at, at all. And a lot of what I'm teaching are tactics and systems and processes to use. Um, it's not, it's not what we believe in Entreholic is a get rich quick program. We believe in hard work, constant learning and, and supporting others. Um, and as stipulated by law, we don't make any guarantees, all right, about your ability to get results or earn any money with our ideas, information, or tools, right? We don't guarantee it because there's nothing in this course that guarantees results or future earnings, and we do not offer any legal, tax, or other professional advice. Uh, any financial numbers referenced or estimates or projections and should not be considered exact. And, and we do, you know, kind of estimate on a lot of um, sharing our, our figures. And you'll see um, uh, that... Uh, anytime we do use figures, we always put in there that it's required, you know, results not typical, all right? Um, so you'll see that line as, as I mention it. So anyway, it's just what's required, and I think it's in, in important uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, your results, as with anything in life, are completely up to you, okay? In reality, the average person just collects information, right? They get information, and, they, and it never translate. they never translate that information into action, um, and therefore, you know, achieve, you know, little to, to no results. So, you know, hopefully that isn't you. All right? Ideally, you'll be an action taker and have the opportunity to see the results that we've experienced. So, all right, now that we got the legal stuff out of the way, all right, on to our first um, main topic. So every business needs leads, right? Leads are the fuel that run your company and drive profits. And typically you can buy lead lists, all right, as we talked about, but they're expensive. All right, they have limited data sometimes. They're not exactly your customer and then they're up to 25% inaccurate. And most of us don't have a ton of inbound leads, all right? Um, but that's something we can actually teach you as well. Uh, but if you're like me, you don't have time to wait, right? And here are the exact steps that you can take to automate and delegate and get up to a thousand targeted leads in the next, all right, typically five days for 100 to 150 bucks. Um, and like I said earlier, you don't have to stop at a thousand, right? This is just uh, as a, for one example. Um, you can just repeat this process to get as many, you know, as you want. Um, all right, so first I'll explain it by telling you a scenario that you can apply the same approach to a lot of the other examples that we're gonna share here, okay? All right, so consider an education training company, all right, that, that sells a child's training program, and they wanna connect with child psychologists in the Southeast United States to tell them about it, okay? So they need names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, all right, so they can use to market their product. So you immediately go into automate and delegate mode, all right? What you do is you post the requirements of this job on, on Upwork. All right? Upwork is one of the platforms where you can hire people to virtually work for you. All right? And the posting looks like this. All right? It says we're, we're looking for internet research experts to research websites with listings on child psychology professionals in the Southeast US. All right? You explain you only want you know, accurate data all right? and also without any legal restrictions, right? which basically means that the site doesn't prohibit you from, you know, from, um, from pulling the information. Uh, we then added a question to make sure we we're seeing only truly qualified candidates, all right? And the statement read, uh, please include one site with the mentioned criteria you believe would be a good target, okay? So this is just one of the tricks we use to weed out outsourcers who aren't a good fit. And it lets us know immediately if they can follow directions and, and do the job. You know, you'll get dozens of responses when, when you post a task, uh, and you need a quick way to, to weed out the ones that, you know, that aren't a good fit, okay? Um, so next, the one that we selected all right, we sent the actual data collection spreadsheet template to them, all right, uh, that we want the data filled in. It was is one big Excel file, and I've kind of chopped it up here so I can spit it on a screen. But, you know, we, we wanted to get, you know, for these child the psychologists, we wanted them to scrape and get their, you know, their name, their business name, their personal email, the address for their personal LinkedIn profile, company size, um, if possible, you know, what's their industry category, um, if there's a special, their type of specialist, uh, their Facebook page, Twitter handle, all their business contact info, right? So imagine having this kind of data you need for your perfect target prospects, right? You know, exactly, Southeast child psychologist, or if you wanted them in like your metro area, right? So it'd be pretty priceless. Um, and you'd be amazed. I mean, this data usually exists out there and, and these outsourcers are able to, to assemble it. 
So you know, here's the response we received from the freelancer we hired to do the work. All right, it was actually a larger firm that, that specializes in what we call business process outsourcing, okay, BPO. And I won't read through all this detail here, um, but, but this is a company that, that does nothing but web research, data processing, data conversion, and, and a bunch more. Um, they were already set up and ready to, con to perform the exact task that, that we needed. So can you see how powerful this is? This type of delegation would be in, in your business. Um, so you know, four days later, we had the data backed, all nicely formatted in our spreadsheet with a thousand records. Okay, so now you know, note this is just dummy data <laughs> um, in this spreadsheet for purposes of the example. Um, you know, as I said in the disclaimer, you know, it's it's all estimates because we don't put um, the actual uh, uh, data in here. But this is the, the the spreadsheet format exactly of what we what we got back, and it only cost 120 bucks for the whole thing. Um, and then you can use the data to launch a massive multi-dimensional campaign. You know, email, phone calls, social media. Uh, reach out by LinkedIn, um, you know, even direct mail if you want, using all this data. So it, it gives you a lot of options. If you were to try to do this yourself, it would take forever, right? And we were able to pull all this together just by delegating the task to an outsourcer. And my favorite part is they're in another time zone. So literally, you just wake up and sitting in my inbox, you know, is emailed to me a thousand wonderful leads. Can you see how powerful this is? It's just awesome how it works. Um, so here's a, you know, a few. Uh, other kind of uh, stories, and, and you can see that this works for, for about any market niche, okay? Um, you know, I'll just go through these. Medical device company wanted to get direct purchasers. You know, this high-end luxury retailer wanted to get a list of lawyers and doctors to make outbound calls. Um, this co-op program, they, they did a data mining to be able to get a list of all the local farmers in their state and restaurants so that they could reach out to them. Uh, a large animal horse vet, they want to get a list of all the horse stables, you know, do an outreach, right? You can't go buy that list. Like, it's something that you got to scrape and find from websites and other you know repositories and directories that may be out there um, and a marketing agency they want to get a list of all the marketing directors in a major metro area because that's who buys their services and want to do outreach um, so you see how powerful this is for any business or industry right whether you're local or uh, b2b b2c um, it's really unique information that you just can't get otherwise okay um, and here's another story I love I'll share. You know, so we had a teeth whitening company and, and needed a list of dentists who offer teeth whitening on their website so we could target them as prospects. So when we data mined, we, we also asked for the university that they attended, okay? So that when we wrote the email, we could actually put special offer for graduates of, right, insert dental school name, right? Can you imagine how high the open rates are with that kind of subject line? Again, we got about 1,000 records in four to five days um, for about 120 bucks. Um, so, you know, delegating this task made lead targeting simple, and effective, all right? You know, so imagine, what could you do with a thousand leads in the next five days, all right? You know, meeting your exact criteria, you know, or more than a thousand, right? You can, like I said, you can repeat the process. Well, that'd be awesome. I mean, it's, it's as you've seen, this, this works for just about any business and just about any niche, right? Online, offline, B2B, B2C, there's just a ton of ways that it can, that it can apply. All right, next topic. So now let's look at another way to automate and delegate as it relates to market intelligence, all right? So this is the exact tactic to give you targeted on-point market research information for your business, all right? So you can do things like determine market demand, all right, find your niche, all right, if you're trying to launch an online course or a new product. Like I said, I got a great example for that. Um, and uh, find out your competitors' prices, all right, and their marketing material. And, uh, and also identify, all right, the key influencers who are in your market, okay? So I'm going to show you some similar techniques. You can instantly get this information super cheap, okay? So you'll appreciate this quote from Seth Godin that kind of applies here. You know, don't find customers for your products. Instead, find products for your customers, okay? So these market intelligence tactics are going to, you know, help show you um, exactly what your prospects want, you know, how much they're willing to pay and how to, you know, kind of get the edge on your competition. So you're not kind of going blind, blindly into a market. So, you know, on that point, here's a great case example. So this is an individual, all right, they were looking to, to manufacture high-end play kitchens for children, okay? And they want to see what price point the market would support. You know, there's tons of play kitchens. There's plastic ones, cheap ones, expensive ones, all right? And they wanted to make high-end wood kitchens, okay, that are like nice furniture. And they needed to know what the market looks like, you know, what products are out there and, and at what price point. You know, they wanted to know, would the man be there? Um, the demand for, for their high-end price point, which they were thinking was probably going to have to be around 700 bucks. Um, so wrote a job description for an outsourcing agent and were able to get over 200 records, okay? Um, 
I've covered the company names um, for for privacy here, but this is the exact spreadsheet, right? They got that we got back, and and they were actually able to insert pictures of each of the products, uh, insert the price point, insert the shipping charge, because that was another thing. Is you know these are going to be more expensive and, and heavier. Um, it's going to be more of a, a shipping charge. So we were able to deliver 200 records in two days for 14 bucks. Okay, so if you're looking to introduce a product, right, in whatever market, you know. And you want to get all the details on your competition for pennies, you can do it this way. You know, before you spend a dime on production or build a website or anything, this lets you know, you know, what's out there in your market. Um, you know, so this next one I'll share from my own experience in deciding to pursue uh, actually the pet industry for marketing services. Okay. Um, so I wanted to find out what, you know, was there any marketing firm out there that was just targeting the pet industry, you know, going after pet boarders, pet groomers, dog walkers. Um, I want to see how much they charge, copies of their of their literature. Um, so had an outsourcer, you know, research for me, and two days later received back a, a list of, of over 150 company records. All right, with price points of their services for these for my competitors. All right, if they had it listed on their site, um, and and a lot of them had their brochures on their website, and they downloaded them for me and put them all in a zip file. Right, <laughs> got it in two days for 17 bucks. So isn't this crazy? Like what you can get, can get done. I hope you guys are, are getting this. Um, really exciting to, to, to see what you can do. And you're only limited by your creativity, as you'll find out. Um, another quick story. So related to influencers. So this, this payments company, um, they created a, this mobile app to, to change how parents control um, their child's spending. And it was a, a completely new product, all right? And they, they wanted a list of mommy bloggers, all right? They wanted to get influential mommy bloggers in their market so they could reach out to them to talk about their product, maybe get them to write a blog about it. Um, so two days later, all right, an outsourcer returned to them hundreds of records of mommy bloggers, okay? With the link to the blog, all right, their email address, um, sorry, bring it up here, their contact information, um, and even the title of the last article that they published, all right? So again, I'm using the same kind of dummy sheet here for, for all of them, but... So I'm just, but I got, so this is just to kind of show you an example of kind of exactly what the data looks like that you get back. Um, you know, two days and 14 bucks. So here's another, another great use. Um, so we all know that if, you know, oh, pardon me, I'll take a quick uh, swallow of water here. Um, we all know that if you're an influencer in an industry, right, you're probably a speaker at, at the industry trade show, okay? Um, so you can have a freelancer go out and pull all the speakers from a trade show, okay? And then email them directly saying, hey, I missed the event, but I saw you were speaking, and I want to see if I could get a copy of your slides to share with, uh, with our team, right? So I've done this several times, and it works great. You know, influencers love being flattered by asking for their slides. You know, and a lot of them at the end of their speech, they'll say, hey, just email me for a copy of our slides. So this is a way for, you know, you to get in touch with influencers without even attending the event. Um, you know, by using kind of that that crafty kind of messaging. So you see how powerful this could be for any business trying to, to, to reach the top you know, thought leaders? Um, all right, so you're probably scratching your head, right? So, um, you know, why is it everyone automating and delegating? You know, it's simple, it's effective, it's profitable, you know? And every time I, you know, I present on this, people are just like blown away. Well, not everybody knows about it, okay? Um, it's just, it's it's not something that, that that's widely known. So. So let's move on to show you how you can automate and delegate your email list building, okay? Um, so as you know, I mean, building your own internal email list of customers and, and prospects, all right, and particularly the warm ones, is so critical, all right? Um, so let's look for a minute, like, just real quick why it's so important. So this is one of those concepts that if nothing else, all right, let, let this hit home with you today. All right, so much money is lost in the warm leads, all right, so much money. Hot ones buy, cold ones never will, but the warm ones, they get neglected over and over. All right, so an example of a warm lead is someone that maybe comes to your website, but they don't, they're not ready to, you know, call you or, or fill out your contact form, all right? The warm leads are the ones that you need to cultivate, all right? That they visited your site, maybe you've got their information at a networking event or at a trade show. You know, they came for a reason, they're interested, and they, they're very likely to buy later. So this infographic kind of explains what, what, what happens. I created this a while back ago, and it really resonates with people. So, you know, on the left is the nurture wheel, all right? And, and it's, it's, you want to earn the right to stay on someone's nurture wheel using a lot of these affordable digital tools and outsourcing, you know, for the long term. Um, because there's going to be a life or business event, okay, which is the second wheel, that's going to trigger a need for your product, right? It might not be tomorrow or next month or next year, but if you use these cheap, affordable tools, um, you, you're going to have a way to stay in front of them on the long term. But you gotta get their email address so you can stay in touch. 
um, on a long-term basis. And there's a lot of different ways of nurture outside of just email and the other digital channels, but um, but it's just one of the key elements you can say top of mind when that life and business event happens. And that's where the intersection and that dollar sign is. But as you just see, it's very, very predictable um, when you set it up. All right, so to demonstrate, let me you know, share you know, a simple example. Um, so let's say I'm moving to a new area, and one of the first things on my list is to find a lawn care company, right? Somebody to cut the lawn. So I Google around and come across like three options. Uh, we'll call them websites one, two, and three. All right, the first two, the only option is for me to call the number on their website, okay? Or to fill out their contact form, okay? So I'm not quite ready to get harassed by a sales rep, all right? I'm just checking them out, all right? And think about how this could relate to your business, you know, whatever, wherever business may be, whether you're a you know, a vitamin shop or a CPA firm or, um, but you can see how it relates. So on website three, okay, I also have the option to fill out a little form and by only having to give my first name and email, they'll send me a guide, okay, that they put together called the top five things to keep in mind when choosing a lawn care company. Like, wow. You know, it's a nice piece of educational information. We call this a lead magnet because it's something that draws a lead in to give you their email address. So I fill it out. It's like, all right, well, you know, I don't want to contact you or talk to you yet, but you know, sounds like good information. I'll give you my email address, right? They're paying with their email address. So I get an email with the guide, which is great value. All right. And then just once a week, I get an email from the company sharing just a few more tips, maybe about lawn care. Uh, maybe they drop in some pictures and testimonials of satisfied clients, but you know, they're earning the right to stay in front of me, right? But at the bottom of each one, right? They're not overwhelming me with buy, 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 but they always put phone number and call to action, maybe or a discount or a coupon. Um, and, or, or maybe my first cut's free. So, you know, as a decision maker, I, I, I'm going to make my decision probably in a week or two and calling around. And, and this, this one's earned the right to stay in my inbox, right? And, and they'll probably be the top of my list when I go to reach out. So it's like I said, so much money is lost in the warm leads. Can you see how this works? And by automating and delegating, all right, you can have all this stuff set up, all right, getting a lead magnet, get it written, loaded in less than a week for 100 to 120 bucks, okay? It's just crazy. So excited to jump in and show you. Um, but I'll show you one other example. So this is just quick. It's a it, there's an executive education company. They didn't. They only had a phone number and a contact form on their website, and they did exactly what we just talked about. You know, we helped get a lead magnet put together um, on their website. We put it all over in different um, forms on their site, and uh, in 30 days they got 67. Um, uh, actually, no, it was 45 days. 45 days, they got 67 additional leads. They were getting traffic to their site that wasn't converting. They got 67 new leads through that lead magnet they wouldn't have gotten otherwise. All right, so you can, can you see like the value here of how important it is? All right, so tying it all together. So this is the exciting part. All right, this is where we tie it all together, and I'll show you how you can get your email building machine up and going, all right, to stop losing warm leads using automation and delegation. All right, so first, delegate a freelancer to write and design your lead magnet. Okay, you'll be amazed. There are writers that specialize in whatever your industry is that, that specialize in even writing lead magnets that um, uh, can put these together. Two or three page, all the graphic design, um, all, all shaped up in a nice professional look. All right. Um, next, delegate a freelancer to write your nurture emails All right, um, that the lead's going to receive after, after they fill in the, um, get the lead magnet. Again, it, there are people that specialize. You know, when you post and say you're looking for someone to write a nurture email series in, in your industry, People know how to write exactly for this. You know, write five or six emails. All right, next, you may do this yourself, okay? Um, a little ahead of myself there. Um, but there's also freelancers. They're for 10 to 12 bucks, all right, an hour, that specialize in these email systems. And I got Infusionsoft and MailChimp as an example here. Um, but they'll actually log in, all right, and, and, and load the emails for you. All right, so it's all automated and delegated. All right, so... So now you're all set. Next time someone visits your site, all right, they'll have a way to start a relationship with you by requesting a lead magnet, all right, and you'll start building your email list of prospects and stop losing money in the warm leads that you were missing before, okay? And actually, when you build those forms, there's even tools um, that I'll share with you uh, that, uh, like uh, Sumo Me, all right, an opt-in monster that allows the form to pop up at different places depending on what part of the website that they're on. Um, and also, uh, if you're running Facebook ads, all right, you get double the value. You can, you can use this uh, same lead magnet uh, to convert traffic from, from your Facebook ads. So when you know how to automate and delegate with freelancers, you can have it done okay, in less than a week for typically less than 120 bucks. Right? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Imagine if you could start seeing leads coming in on a daily basis that start converting to sales. right? And, and you can use that lead magnet for all kinds of other things. It can be a printout brochure, right? and you can, you know, have more um, white papers or guides developed to use in other parts of your business. So you can see how all this could apply in different pieces as well. 
Um, you know, so just one more example. Sorry, I know I'm showing a bunch here, but I, I just think it's so cool how this works. So uh, you know how I mentioned like we want to start offering marketing services for the pet business? Well, of course, the first thing I needed to get made was a lead magnet, all right? And I want to show you the exact one that we had completed. Um, I just included it in this webinar because we had it done not too long ago and thought it was a great example. Um, we found a freelancer who wrote original content and fully designed a whole 10-page beautiful ebook, okay, called Marketing and Growing Your Dog Walking Business that I'm able to use in a lot of ways in going after that market. I mean, it's beautiful. It's this beautiful 10-page book that anybody would think that we paid $1,000 to get done. Got it done in two days for 26 bucks. You guys getting this? I mean, it's just incredible how this works. Um, all right, so as I mentioned, I plan to share some uh, some bonus tasks, all right, to automate and delegate. Um, so I'm going to pump through a few more here. Uh, let's see, what's the next one coming? Uh, uh, vendor research. All right, this is a great one. So, you know, sim I'll share a like, similar example to one that, that we had. So let's say that, you know, you're in a new area um, or, you know, you're, you're trying to get um, brochures printed, okay, for example, you're trying to find a printer as a vendor, um, and and you don't want to spend hours, either yourself or your staff, researching and finding them and getting quotes and so forth, so you can automate and delegate, get a freelancer, virtual assistant, all right, and one day to search your area and, and fill up a spreadsheet, be doing search terms of 50 printers in your area, all right, you know, with all the contact info, all right, it'll probably cost you around seven bucks, okay, um, another great one is uh, so come through here. Uh, outbound telephone prospecting. Okay, and this is a really valuable one. Um, so we've shown you how you like get a thousand or more targeted leads, right, through data mining. So here's how you reach out to them using automation and delegation. All right. So we found this freelance group out of the Philippines um, that for nine to ten bucks an hour will make twenty five outbound calls per hour. All right. That means you get a hundred calls for forty bucks. Um, and in my last business, this is like one of the biggest parts of, of our lead generation. I mean, great quality, and one of the best parts is that they they speak um, hardly any accent. Now, some of them, it's just pure English. You would ne you'd never know that they weren't from the U.S. So it's a great part of a campaign to do outbound prospecting. And most people think we got to hire someone and get them in and train them. These folks, they learn the script. They're able to start calling within the first within the first day. Okay, um, you can automate and delegate like even administrative stuff like business cards okay so i even got this business card scanner and i do them one at a time that kind of load in my phone but like sometimes you go to events and you get a bunch of them right so this is an event i went to recently and i just took a picture i just lined them up all on desk took a picture emailed it to my freelancer virtual assistant and you know within 24 hours you know they had entered it into a spreadsheet for me all right with all the detail then they went and got all the additional information so aside from what was on the business card they went on linkedin and got their linkedin profile and everything um then they loaded it into uh, uh, to a CRM system, got it loaded up for me, and, and then got the email out, right? All in 24 hours, and, and I spent about 20 bucks, right? Imagine the amount of hours and time that you spend <laughs> on something administrative like uh, like business cards. Ah, sorry, I had one more water there. Um, uh, all right, here's a fun one I'll share as well. Uh, so you know how I mentioned you can automate and delegate personal items too, right? So here's an example, uh, actually, when my wife and I, uh, we're going to get married, and we wanted to find a um, a rustic uh, outdoor setting. Okay, um, so instead of spending you know, three hours on a Saturday searching the web, getting contact numbers and names for event planners and so forth, I just had a freelancer. All right, do it. I got it, and one day got back a list for just twelve bucks. Okay, can you imagine how you could use this in your life? I know another person who did the same thing to find like the perfect birthday location for their child. Uh, and, and my wife and I actually did the same thing as well when we were you know, looking for a new car and didn't want to search all the dealerships. I had a freelancer search them all and put them in a spreadsheet. So, I mean, it, it's amazing how this can impact so many different areas. Um, another thing, like Google Analytics. Okay, It's one of those things that, I don't know if you've tried tangling with Google Analytics, but it can be it can be a bit of a, of a monster. Um, but uh, you know, for our, our industry, you have to know it pretty well. But... I found this freelancer, right? Virtual assistant um, was able to set up all the dashboards in Google Analytics because it's there's so many parts and pieces, but they're an expert in it. And I said, this is what I want to see. This information I want to see and just set it up so I can get a daily report. And they set it up in a few days, okay, for 40 bucks. So I don't know about you, but this is like one of those things that just I would never get done unless I had a freelancer to, to help me with it. Um, and there's so much more, okay? Uh, content writing for blogs, for, for press releases, for, for your website copy, all, right? all these things that just like don't get done. Um, websites, all right? you can get great website development done. You can get mobile apps developed, okay? Um, 
keyword research, including you know what's the search volume of those keywords and the cost per keyword. Uh, SEO, right? Search engine optimization. Um, this is actually the exact plan that the, one of the firms that we worked with that they do uh, all the detail for on-page and off-page. Uh, social media management and advertising. All right. And the list goes on, okay? Graphic design, digital marketing, writing, video, programming, you know, and we haven't even scratched the surface, okay, of, of all the, the tasks that you can automate and delegate. And if you know what you're doing, you can get high quality work done at a fraction of the cost that you would normally pay, okay, with a rapid turnaround, right? So, so imagine having your own team of freelancers, right? Your own crew with all the skills and each discipline that you need to serve um, for your current business, your new business, you know, you know, maybe it just helps in your career. I know a lot of real estate agents to see a lot of value in this kind of thing, or sales reps, um, or even for your personal tasks, right? For me, I always refer it to it as like having this nice and tidy toolbox, right, with every skill set that I need in it, you know, um, that I can use any time in life going forward. I've got this this nice toolbox. I, if I want to launch a company, I go to it, right, um, and I can do it on a budget to save time and money. When I need the tool, I'll pull it out, use it, and you know, otherwise it's not costing me anything, right? It's variable expense, which is another huge thing to 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 know about this, all right? Um, so it's just a it's a way of thinking about how how this process works. When you're done using it, you put it right back, and it's not costing you money. So here's just a small portion of what our global team of freelancers looks like now, right? At Entreholic, um, everything from a stay-at-home mom in Baltimore who does amazing content writing to uh, Infusionsoft experts in Dubai that we use for email marketing to this freelancer in Colombia who does incredible video editing, right? So imagine what it would feel like to, to have this kind of a, of a crew at, at your disposal, um, to know your business can grow organically and give you the time and income to do it, all right? That's exactly what's going to happen when you automate and delegate, okay? Um, so we've had a few great examples or an outsourcers to automate and delegate, right? Um, however, as you know, there, there's a ton of new tools coming out every day. And to kind of complement what you do with freelancers and outsourcers, um, I want to share these with you. And actually, at Entreholic, we, we, we do this, this weekly addictive tool series, and then we created this um, uh, guide where we interview business owners um, throughout the year, research the web, and, and create this guide called the Top 200 Tools to Fuel Your Business Growth. Um, so I just want to share just a couple of our favorites here. I know we're running on time, and, uh, but these are some really cool ones, and, and part of the bonus I shared with you for, for sticking through, Okay. All right, first one is SpyFu. All right, this is a simple-to-use tool. It's, um, it's uh, got a free option. Um, it allows you to see your competitors' entire, okay, or most of their online marketing strategy, uh, their website traffic, their click-throughs, okay, um, the, the exact keywords, all right, that they're, that they're using, that they're targeting on Google, and even their exact ads that they're using on Google AdWords, all right, and their top-performing ads. It'll even show you where they're getting inbound links from uh, so you can, you know, replicate. Um, It'll also show you their top performing keywords. All right, so it allows you to have your content writer be able to target the same kind of content that your competitors are targeting. So um, this will save you a ton of time, a ton of money, and, and it's free. So spyfu.com, check it out. Uh, next one is ready.mobi, right? So right now we know that being mobile friendly is wildly important to Google and making sure that, that uh, you check that. So this allows you to see exactly how your website renders on different mobile devices and on, on desktops, all right? It'll show you exactly how your site is performing. Um, it'll give you a report uh, showing you exactly how you rank, um, and it, this is all free. And, it'll, and it, like I said, it'll, it'll show you this exact set of steps that you can give to your web developer, and it says this is where your major failures are, you know, where you're passing, so you can make sure that your website is mobile friendly, okay? Really important. Uh, another great tool, Mouseflow. Now, some of you may have heard of like heat mapping, um, but it basically allows you to track exactly what visitors are doing your website and show where they're clicking and they're not clicking. Um, the cool thing about Mouseflow is it also actually records the visitor's action on the screen. Okay, it literally records their mouse movements. You can get inside the mind of your visitors and make changes to your site that will help generate more conversion and sales. Okay, and the cool thing is they have a free option um, that you can do up to a hundred recordings per month. Okay. Um, for free and I mean literally see what people are doing on your website so really cool crafty insights and here's another really great one too um, it's kind of creepy crafty uh, you can actually it's called bond all right and you can actually send in a sample um, and it has a robot that will learn your handwriting all right then you get this online account and like within a few clicks of a button you can type in what you want and it will send out a handwritten letter um, uh, in your handwriting, or, or has some other fonts you can choose from, but you can do your own handwriting, um, in the U.S. mail for $3 a piece, all right? 
and I believe that's the, the latest price. Uh, they'll even put a wax seal on the envelope, right? Isn't that super creative? I tell you, I wish I knew about this when we were doing thank you letters for our uh, for our baby showers. But it's just one of those crafty tools, you know, that most people just never knew existed out there. And I've shared s with so many folks, and, and, and they love it. Um, but it's just one more way to, to automate and delegate. So to you know, share a little you know personal side on the story, I'd like to just tell you real quick about um, like Doug Grady. Okay, so Doug's a great guy, and he was launching an online product, and he was trying to expand his speaking business. Um, we worked together, all right, and he had this to say: "A tremendous amount of my time is invested in marketing, whether it's social media, content development, or branding. Doing the nitty gritty work is very challenging for me." And Brad has really opened my eyes to show how to leverage my time through freelancers to do the things that I'm not wired to do, right? So I just love hearing this kind of feedback. Can you relate to Doug? You know, we all have uh, nitty gritty work that sucks our time and keeps us from working on the right things. And uh, here's the story of Nita Davis, okay? She's a go-getter. Uh, she took her experience in working uh, corporate banking to launch a small business advisory bu uh, company. And uh, this is what he shared, she shared. <laughs> Um, what I'm loving is that there are tools and resources and information that I didn't even know existed that I can immediately implement in my business to save time and money. I love outsourcing skills or tasks that let me do the things that are revenue producing for my company. You see, like Anita and Doug, they're people just like you and I, right? They're trying to find their entrepreneurial way and, and do it more cost effectively. And once they automate and delegate, they find that path to be you know, a heck of a lot easier. So. Let me just ask a question, right? So, you know, we've had a good time today with all the exciting stuff that we just covered, right? I mean, you're, you're starting to see how automation and delegation can change your business and your life, okay? Hopefully you've seen a lot of, a lot of cool techniques, um, how it did it for me and, and become the standard of what I do going forward and, and others that I've shared. And you see how it's like, it's not just a skill, but it's a whole new mindset about how to get things done with leverage, right? Is this resonating with everyone? If it is, I really want to you know get some interaction here just type a y in your chat box you know i want to know that i'm hitting home here just type a y in and you're starting to see all right yep yeah, all right see them come through here all right good all right that's usually what happens all right wow well, well good that's a resounding confirmation so people and that's so, so exciting about presenting this in 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 uh in live as well just seeing the response that people have well you know what could it mean, right, if you could implement automation and delegation in your life and business, okay? Um, and, and as an instructor, you know, what if I could help you, all right? So I do have something to offer, okay, um, as you probably expected, and, and, and I'd love to be able to share it with you. Now, if you're interested, I always like to ask permission here. You know, I, I'd love to share it with you on, on, on something that I can help in this process. So uh, if you can, just type a Y, you know, if you'd like to learn more. <laughs> all right, well, it looks like, Yep, looks like I'm getting a chunk of wise here. All right, fantastic. Uh, well, thank you. And um, so I'll step through here and, and, and show you how something I can help. But I'd like to, you know, always deliver lots of value, um, you know, before you know sharing something like this that can hopefully take it to the next level. Um, you know, so you already know that like nothing happens in your business, you know, or in your life until you take action. And, and one of the problems most people have is is just not knowing exactly what to do, right? What steps to take. You know, it's not for a lack of work ethic, right? They just struggle to implement because life gets in the way, okay? Um, the whirlwind of the day-to-day. -day. And sometimes people, they just need an accountability partner, right, to go along with the information, all right? Just like what you're learning today, it's finding a way to get these things implemented and, and have a, a way to make it happen. So that's why we put together this course, okay, and this curriculum, all right, the Entreholic Automate and Delegate System, okay? How to start or grow your business on a shoestring budget Right, by maximizing the potential of time, money, and people. Okay, taking all the techniques that we talked about. And you know, we're talking about related to starting or growing a company, but you know, this could relate to your career, um, you know, personal life as you've seen, a lot of impact. And this is you know, be creating your toolbox you can take with you long term. Okay. We take all the thousands of hours and years of experience that, that, that we've learned um, in applying these principles and give you all the shortcuts, okay, that so you can rapidly implement them and make progress now, all right? So you're about to receive the complete step-by-step -step system, okay, to automate and delegate in your business and your life. You're gonna learn how to leverage your time and your money like never before, all right? And these are lifelong skills you can use forever. As we review, people can, you know, usually experience three for one, you know, when they take a course like this, okay? They see sales and leads increase, all right, costs go down, 
and you get back more of one of the most precious resources there is, time, okay? The thing you can't get back, all right? Once it's gone, it's gone. It's going to free you from that hamster wheel and feeling like you're always buried and help hopefully bring back some of that excitement and passion you had, um, you know, when you first started. So I don't know where you stand on, on Tony Robbins, and, you know, I like a lot of his stuff, and I know there's different opinions, but, you know, you really can't deny this quote. You know, it says, if you want to be successful, find someone who has achieved the results you want and copy what they do, and you'll achieve the same results, okay? So, you know, easier said than done, and it's, it's obviously not a guarantee, you know, but this is exactly what I want to try and do for you today, okay? Provide all the shortcuts so that you can get right to the kind of results um, that, that I've had the chance to, to experience through, through trial and error. Um, all right, so jumping into it, module one all right, of the course is understanding the new economy of getting things done, fast, cheap, and, and high quality, okay? This is um, really for you to, to get an idea of, of how to, why it's grown, why is there such a demand now, um, and why you can really trust it, how to quickly build your own global network, um, really understand it, how to leverage it properly, and, and kind of walk through this, some of the psychology of kind of how, how it's evolved the way that it, that it has, okay? Um, so really kind of getting a, a grasp and understanding of it. All right, in module two, we're going to do a full summary of what can be automated and delegated, okay, to help you break through that growth ceiling we talked about earlier, right? Get through that point B that we talked about <clears throat> so that you've got a full spectrum understanding, all right, so that when you go into automate and delegate mode, you know that you're going to be heading towards shattering that growth ceiling, okay? All right, module three. Uh, for for me, like visual case studies are, are the absolute best way to, to learn. All right, and in module three, we're going to be walking through uh, twenty visual case studies. And actually, I think we've we've added several more since then. Um, but you're going to get case studies of exactly on different things from video development, content writing, data mining. Um, you know, some really cool growth hacking strategies using automation and delegation. All right, you're going to learn proven tactics you can immediately apply to your own business and your life. Okay, to increase your profits while saving you time, okay? So, awesome set of, uh, of, case, of case studies. And we're gonna constantly be, be adding to those, you know, moving, moving forward. Um, and as part of this, you're gonna get email series and, and get additional updates. You know, we like this to be a thriving, ongoing co you know, community. Uh, in module four, all right, you're gonna learn the time and money formula and you're gonna create your own personal blueprint, okay? About what you need to automate and delegate in your business and life, okay? This is going to show you exactly the steps, all right? So once you work through module four, you'll have a complete roadmap to confidently move forward. We have a very specific process, and, and we're going to teach you about the 85% rule, um, how to prioritize, and ultimately start getting all of those different things off of, off of your plate. All right, in module five, you will learn and implement a turnkey system, okay, for organizing, managing, and communicating with your automation and delegation team, okay? You're going to receive the exact organizational system, all right, that we've used to run our business smoothly, all right, and efficiently. We've <laughs> definitely had a learning curve on it, but we've, uh, and we're continuing to improve, but, but I'll show you the exact system, all right? You're going to discover little-known, unique communication tools that will save you time and hassle, all right? You're going to receive pre-written job descriptions that you can easily copy and paste and edit for your own tasks that we've done for content writing, data mining, um, uh, video development, uh, script writing. Uh, you're going to receive pricing guidelines to, um, to so make sure you're kind of getting the, the best price and for, for the work and the money. From our experience, kind of what we've seen to be the ranges. And you're going to learn exactly how to review a profile so that when you delegate to an outsourcer, you know you're getting a top performer. What to look for? What are the, the, the kind of the, the red flags and, and the positive things that you're going to and you're gonna, so you're going to receive our our step by step procedure um, for finding and, and managing your team. Okay. In module six, all right. So as we talked about, there are literally thousands and thousands of automation online tools coming out, right? And just trying to figure out which ones to use and which one's best for your business can be confusing and take hours. So in module six, all right, you're going to receive our exact list of the essential automation tools to, to use in, in your business. You know, you may not use them all at once, but I'm, we're going to show you. And again, this is going to be an ongoing relationship. We're going to constantly be sharing you know, new ones. You know, even after this, this whole uh, webinar, there's going to be new tools that come out. And most of them are, are you know, we try and focus on ones that are inexpensive or, or free. Um, you're going to, you know, discover, you know, additional tools that, um, like how to get hand curated social media content and have it posted to your, to your social platforms for 10 bucks a month. Okay. Um, a really cool tool to, to instantly learn the most popular content in your industry for your blogs. Uh, a communication tool, okay, that is a true game changer. Um, you know, we use that word not lightly uh, when it comes to this. Um, it'll eliminate hours of back and forth. Uh, and 
a completely automated virtual assistant tool, all right, for 10 bucks a month. So I'm going to be sharing you, sharing with you uh, a lot more. Uh, okay, um, one of my favorites here. So we're going to be doing this together, okay? Um, you're going to receive a weekly implementation and accountability video series, all right? And I like to call this action harassment, all right? You're here today because you're an action taker, all right? And even action takers need a little motivation sometimes. Um, so you're going to receive a video from me every week to give you that little nudge, all right, that you need to stay on track in building your business and learning how to automate and delegate, okay? Um, so we're in this together, okay? Um, love sharing this, and these are going to be great tips, and, and again, we'll be constantly you know, developing more. All right, so talking about price, right? So what is all of this worth? So, you know, when I teach this in-depth course, okay, with, with clients, and, and which I love doing, it's high energy and exciting, um, you know, the, the tuition is $7,500, okay, because they the, the value is tremendous of what they get and the savings that they're able to experience. Uh, just to show you, like, here's a copy, actually, from our from our QuickBooks online um, for one of our clients' invoices that you can see. I had to obviously scratch out their company name for privacy, but, you know, you see the exact bill they paid, all right, $7,500 um, to, to go through the mastering automation and delegation course, all right? You know, and there's good reason, you know, they're willing to take the course, you know, and, and, and pay that kind of level. Um, but, you know, what and, and what you're going to get is is going to get the same type and you're going to get lifetime, you know, access. Um, you're you're going to get six modules, okay, that are broken out like we talked about that you're going to have access to forever, you know, moving forward, step-by-step -step system. All right, you're going to get, you know, understanding the new economy of, of how to get things done and why it's growing. You're going to get a summary review of like what can be outsourced um, to, to really grow your company and understand the different options. You know, you can get uh, 20 visual case studies and examples. And like I said, I think we've even got more that are that are loaded now um, that, that we walk through. Uh, you're going to go through the exact process to determine what you should outsource and why. OK, very specific process that we have there. Um, you get the turnkey system for building, organizing, and managing your freelancer team. All the tools and processes and systems that we use to make this easy to do. And then you're going to get, um, you know, all of our free and, and or inexpensive automation and growth tools. Okay, and of course the implementation and accountability um, uh, video series, which uh, I love making. And you'll be getting, you know, lots more of those to just keep you pumped and, and motivated and, and continue to share like new crafty things that we discover that can be that can be done. You know, but your tuition is not going to be seven thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, not even half or a quarter of that with our with our new online course. Your tuition for the entire six modules, okay, is just fourteen ninety seven. And if you're ready to take action, all right, and get started today, just visit entreholic.com forward slash action. Okay. So to you know, let's just take a quick look, right? To see the impact, let me tell you about Plus Bruce. All right, such a high energy, exciting guy. Uh, he was actually in, in um, also in one of my you know individual workshops, and you can actually see him here over to the uh, to the left. Um, he served in the military and corporate America for years, and um, recently launched his own business. And he was so excited that he gave me this uh, this video testimonial um, after the event. He said, "You know what, Brad? I'll tell you, it blew me away because all the things that you talked about are, are all the challenges that we're looking at right now as a growing company." We, you know, you really nailed it, hit it out of the park, and gave us the resources we need to answer our questions. You know, so just like Plus, you know, you want to overcome those struggles and challenges too, right? You know, and these are exactly the answers uh, that you'll get in this course, all right? So next, let me introduce Lauren, okay? Um, Lauren and her partner own LD Studios, all right? And when she came to the training, similar to the one that, that you're getting, um, you know, uh, they needed to increase leads, revenue, and, and, and lower their costs. And... By the end of the training, she was able to take the simple action steps that she learned, all right, and go back into her business and immediately make changes. She sent me a really nice email and she said, Brad, you know, my business partner and I loved your course. It was one of the best I've attended in regards to actionable information provided. I've spent most of my time since then implementing the strategies you shared with us. So I love to hear, I love to hear action, you know, and, and I try and make it so that that's very possible. You see, Lauren was frustrated and she found the solution to her problem was how to automate and delegate, okay? Um, you know, and as you can see here, you know, just a few more kind words. This is just a, a fraction <laughs> of folks, but I like to share it because it just shows there's people from, from all walks of life, you know, who've experienced our content, you know, younger, older, and, and everything in between. And, you know, I love teaching this information and they all got a ton of value. Okay. Now, so because you're on the webinar today, all right, I'm also going <clears> to <throat> give you four special bonus packs. Okay. As part of your course. All right. So let's jump into them. 
So bonus pack one, you're going to receive four expert guides. All right. The first one is the exact template with the headers that we use to give the freelancers for data mining, okay, for lead lists and influencers that we went through earlier, all right? Next is a guide of how to craft the perfect nurture emails, right? How to keep your warm leads hooked, right? Like we talked about in that nurture email in that lawnmower example. I'm going to give you a template and a process for doing that. You're also going to get our outsourcing quick start worksheet, all right? So you can get started on outsourcing today, all right, with your first few tasks, all right? And... Because video is king, okay, and shooting video of yourself, all right, it can be a huge way to connect with your audience. And it varies by industry, but, um, you know, whether you're, you're shooting yourself or, or others or, you know, you know, clients or testimonials, I'm going to show you how you can set up an awesome home video studio for less than 250 bucks um, and show you the exact setup that, that I did, even a way of how to kind of craft up a teleprompter uh, for uh, super cheap. Um, all right, bonus pack two, all right? So the second one you're going to receive, <coughs> pardon me, um, I'm going to do, uh, share with you five interviews uh, with other entrepreneurs who started from scratch and use freelancers to redefine their business, okay? Um, and one of these from Matt Granados, and I'll talk about him in a second, but um, just great stories and, and how they use this and implemented it so you can learn from their stories, okay? And then I'm going to share a list of the top three books and top three podcasts, okay, that, that, um, that, that you can use to take your outsourcing and uh, automation delegation, you know, to the next level, okay? Bonus pack three. All right, bonus pack three, all right, you're going to receive predefined process maps. All right, these are the exact emails and processes that you can use for buyer follow-up series, okay, webinar follow-up series, and, uh, and customer service, okay? <clears throat> then you're also going to get two additional bonus case studies, all right? Um, one is how I got my competitor's entire customer list in four days for less than $100, all right, really crafty, uh, one where able to exactly target a competitor, um, and how I got over 25% response rate from top influencers in my market with a completely cold email campaign, all right? Um, so two great additional pace, case studies that we're going to include. All right, so the total bonus value, um, oh yeah, one more, forgot, uh, bonus pack four. So in this one, you're going to get two powerful interactive opportunities, all right? First, we all like a little competition, right? So each quarter, we'll be awarding prizes to the person who comes up with the best freelancer growth hacking strategy, all right? And, uh, and we're going to share those tactics with you so that you can implement them in your own business, okay? Um, and uh, next, you'll also get access to the Entreholic Automate and Delegate private Facebook group, okay, where you can ask and receive answers from other business owners to support one another, all right? This may be one of the most valuable bonuses we have. We want to create a community of interaction, engagement, and support, and um, I'll be in there, and, and other people in the course will, will be in there uh, that you can kind of share stories, because the cool thing about this is that you're always uncovering new things, and people love sharing the crafty techniques that they've, uh, that they've learned. Um, all right, so, you know, the total bonus value all right, um, that I'm giving you today, and, and I think really on the low side, I know some people like give crazy huge numbers, but easily worth $2,500, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, my staff were saying it's way more than that, but you know, at a minimum, it, it definitely is worth that because I, I like to be you know, realistic. Um, so you know, if you look at it all here, you're, you're about to receive the, the six module course, right? The others have paid $7,500 in tuition to, to attend, okay? But you're going to get you know lifetime access, all right. That includes the the six modules and, and the videos that go along with it. Um, uh, you get the the four bonus packages, okay, that we talked about, valued at two thousand five hundred dollars. Um, in addition to the implementation and accountability videos, okay, those are separate than the videos that are actually in the in the uh, in the modules, all right. Um, <coughs> and and this comes to a total of you know ten thousand dollars, okay, easy, and, and it's certainly a value of that. But when you enroll today, your tuition is still just fourteen ninety seven. All right, so giving you all those bonuses and keeping it at fourteen ninety seven. Um, and to get started, all you do is visit entreholic.com forward slash action. Okay, and just so you know that I have full confidence in your abilities. All right, in the content of this course, I'm giving you my personal no hassle signature guarantee. All right, you commit. All right, to following through with the course for the next sixty days. All right, and if you don't believe it's worth, you know. It, equal to your tuition, but far, far more, I'll provide you with a full refund, guaranteed, okay? Because I know that it is easily worth it. All right, but it's it's all about taking action, okay? Um, so you remember Pless that we met earlier, all right? So within a week of, of learning this information, he already automated and delegated, all right, everything here, all right? And he sent me this long email, and I just kind of summarized uh, from it what he did. 
Um, he's like, Brad, I got lead magnet developed for my mobile marketing. All right, he had a mobile marketing um, firm. Um, he found a customizable mobile marketing apps business plan that, that somebody created, pre-created, a, a freelancer that he was able to get. Uh, he was able to get an investor pitch PowerPoint deck, um, a marketing strategy guide. Uh, he, he was able to get a, a virtual assistant to vet several CRM systems for him, all right, that vendor research piece. Uh, he found virtual assistants who can set up campaigns and manage uh, a CRM at a very reasonable monthly cost. And he got a quote to revamp his website very affordably. And lastly, all right, he used his new mobile marketing guide as a free lead magnet, okay, to grow his email list. Very, very important, all right? So you see, when you take action, you get tons of value, all right? This is stuff that never would have gotten done. And this is way more value than the fourteen ninety seven. dollars all right? And the same thing with Anita, okay? Um, she uh, <clears throat> she sent me some, you know, an email as well, and because and, uh, I always like to hear what people have done, and, and this is what she got into place, okay? Developed content marketing criteria. Hired someone to write content for a client engagement series. Uh, did a data mining search um, for blog writers. Uh, hired someone to write a white paper. Uh, created marketing flyers to engage with banking and CPA partners um, and conducted some data mining searches to build prospecting lists. OK, so, I mean, w when you see that this is. Um, is that the last one, I think? Yeah. Um, so when you see <coughs> the types of things that you can do and get implemented, um, you know, Anita never thought that, that she could afford or have time to do this. You know, she has you know, spoken to you know, maintain communication um, and if she hadn't learned how to automate and delegate. You know, it never would have happened all right and the last example i'll share as i mentioned earlier is matt granados and, and he's got several businesses the guy's crazy serial entrepreneur um and he was so excited about the results that, that he shot this video actually and, and sent it to me um and he's a automation and delegation machine now so uh but he said you know being a small business this course has saved me so much time so much headache and so much money I had always known about outsourcing, but never really understood it. And after using your steps, it's like you were holding my hand through the whole thing. Okay, we got content writing, video production, website development, graphic design, um, and more for a fraction of the price we got quoted for more expensive firms. And um, and this guy just keeps doing tons more with it. So, isn't that fantastic feedback? You know, I just I don't know. It's so awesome. I love hearing the the, the positive response. And I love Matt's story because it really captures the impact that this course um, can have. Uh, he's actually gotten his wife involved in doing it for, for a nonprofit that she works with. So, so you already know 85% of businesses fail in the first five years, okay? And there's there's six basic reasons typically why this happens, you know, and I'm certainly no and familiar with them. You know, founders trying to do everything on their own. They make expensive mistakes. Um, they run out of time and money, okay? Uh, they're working hard and not smart, right? Time is wasted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've actually seen some whys. Yeah. People are certainly relating to this. <laughs> so yeah, time's wasted on administrative tasks, right? What I call the whirlwind. How many of you can relate to the whirlwind, right? Um, yeah, I can definitely see. Yeah, the whirlwind is that thing like we get consumed every day and you get lack of focus because you're trying to do so many things and move so many balls forward and all of them take a lot of time. And how do you prioritize? You just lose that lack of focus. So you know, this is, you know, I've definitely had these experiences and, and, uh, and others that these are a lot of the reasons why, why businesses fail. OK, you know, but the, the reality is, you know, even though we've experienced them and, and, and you know, I still sometimes do. You know, once you discover how to automate and delegate, all right, you can really reduce the risk of falling into some of these traps. All right. So, you know, what are your options moving forward? All right. Um, to, to really kind of get the business and, and the life that you want and achieve the success that you're looking for. All right. You can try and, try and you know, learn. Um, all on your own, you know, without any help. All right. And this is certainly a fit with some folks, right? Um, you know, it tends to take a little more time. It can be costly. It's kind of like what I did. And it took me almost 15 years and thousands of dollars wasted. But, um, but you know, it can be a path, right? Uh, or you can hire an agency, you know, to do all, all the work uh, for you. Um, you know, for some, that's the right path, right? And, and having run and, and having a company um, that does a lot of that type of work, I can know it can cost you up to forty to seventy thousand dollars a year, okay? Or, you know, you could take, you know, our proven, simple step-by-step -step course. Implement it in your life and business now. Build a lifelong skill set and begin enjoying the benefits immediately, okay? And I'm gonna do it with you side by side with our accountability video series, all right? And for everyone who enrolls today, okay, um, to add additional value, 
as you've seen, we don't just use automation and delegation to run our own business, right? We use it to service other businesses as well. Um, many of the examples you saw, you know, were us doing this for clients, and you can do the same thing. Um, this may not be exactly in your case, but it's certainly a, a, an option that you can use it to get your own clients, okay? And, and leverage these techniques to generate great profit margins and perform these services for businesses that aren't familiar with, with these techniques. Um, you know, there's a lot of skill set in how to assemble them properly to, to make it happen. Um, so uh, we've included this special bonus here that once you've you know, completed the course, okay, for everyone who enrolls, um, we're going to give you the Entreholic Automate and Delegate Mastery you know, certificate, okay? Um, valued at $1,000. This is going to give you the confidence to go out and get your own clients if, if that's a, a path or a possible future business for you. Um, or if you have your own company, okay, this is something that you can show to investors, you know, or your partners um, to show that, you know, you're using the latest techniques to grow your business. You know, I know a lot of, do a lot of work actually with venture capital companies and investors, and they love, um, actually hire me to come talk to some of the companies they invest in because they want to, you know, make sure they're using the latest techniques um, in the most cost-effective way to make their dollars stretch. So, uh, you know, so just the certification alone um, has a tremendous value. Okay, here's what you're about to receive when you enroll. The complete Entreholic Automate and Delegate course, which normally carries a $7,500 tuition, okay? And the video series that comes along with it and the lifetime access. Right? The four bonus packages that we talked about, valued at $2,500 along with the accountability video series. And the mastery certification valued at $1,000 that we just covered. That's a total value of $11,000. And the tuition is only $14.97, okay? But I'm going to make it even easier for you to enroll. When you enroll in the next 24 hours, for action takers, we're going to take off another $500 off your tuition, dropping it to just $9.97. So to register today, get started, just visit entreholic.com forward slash action. All right, and 10 of you are going to get an even better bonus. But this is only for the first 10 to enroll today. I'm going to give the first 10 students to enroll my personal black book of the freelancers that I use for just one of my platforms. Can't do all of them, but just one. These are the people I depend on for animated videos, graphic design, video scripting, uh, and a bunch of other topics or disciplines that you can, uh, you can see here. White papers. That's why I can't give it to more than 10 people. But when you are one of the first 10 to enroll, you get that access as well. So getting the entire curriculum, the four bonus packs, accountability, implementation videos, the mastery certification, all just for $9.97 when you enroll in the next 24 hours. And when you're one of the first 10 people to enroll today, you get my black book of top outsourcers on one of the platforms. So to get started, all you got to do is visit entreholic.com forward slash action. Because look, it's, at the end of the day, it's no accident that you're here today. You, you came here because your business isn't doing well as you wish it were. You need more leads. You need more profits. You, you want to get off the treadmill. Um, you're just looking for, for ways to make progress. Maybe you just need a cost-effective way to finally start that business that you've been wanting to get out of the ground. Or you want to grow your career. Now is the time. You know, let's, let's make it happen. So here's one other value proposition I want to walk you through that it really shows how this pays for itself, okay? You know, we talked about the whole three-for-one principle, right? You know, the, the increase in sales, the reduction in cost, and how you can see a reduction in time spent. So let's just walk through each one of those, all right? So what's a sale worth to you, okay? Is it $50, $100, uh, $1,000? Let's just say you get a few new sales, okay, from the lead generation strategies that, that we've presented. Just say that a couple. Multiply that times kind of what your what your sales is. I'm saying at a worst case, I'll say it's a it may be if you got e-commerce, you're doing high volume or maybe lower volume and doing higher dollar, but let's say it's a hundred dollars. Next, let's talk about costs and spending with all the shortcuts I'm gonna show you. I mean, being able to get websites done for $250, blacks, you know, uh, blogs, um uh blogs done for you know twelve, fifteen, twenty dollars a piece, graphic design and white papers done for twenty-six bucks for ebooks. You know, I typically see at a minimum $2,500 a year that people end up seeing on uh, on the savings. Uh, it can be greater than that. It can be less than that, depending on how aggressively you implement an action. But you know, at a minimum, you know, and this could be a much larger number, but I don't like to get ridiculous with it. It's, uh, but it, you know, on average, I'd say that that's the minimum you should be experiencing. If not, you're not doing it right. Um, 
And then last and, and probably most important is your time, okay? And this isn't what you're making a, a, as a salary, but it's really, it's really what is your time worth in terms of other things that you could be doing, right? Like building your business, kind of expanding your career. It, it's your opportunity cost. I'd say at least it, it's at least $100 an hour. Right? I'll give, you, depending on how you want to value yourself, but I, I'm going to definitely say $100 an hour or, or more. And if you save just 20 hours a year, okay, that's $2,000. And this is just the monetary value of time. What about the time you get back to spend with, with friends and family, which you know can be even more valuable? So there are a lot of variables that we talked about here, but just thinking about that three for one, this shows that you know, the combined value in sales, cost savings, and time savings is easily worth you know, $2,500 to $5,000 a year. So to wrap it all up here, as we reviewed, the tuition value that others have paid for this content is $7,500. The four bonuses total $2,500. For all those enrolling today, okay, you're getting the mastery certification worth $1,000. And from my experience, and that's why I had that asterisk beside it, and as we just covered in that last slide, the potential sales gain, the time and cost savings by using these techniques can, can easily be $5,000 a year or more. So that brings the grand total to 16,000. And I'm gonna be doing this with you side by side, as I said, with my video accountability series. You know, and we're gonna also have the uh, Facebook community and fellow automators and delegators are gonna be supporting one another there. I'll be in that, in that community uh, as well as your uh, fellow classmates. And because we wanna make sure you take action and achieve results, okay? This is a tremendous value, but your tuition is still only 997. And there's no risk because you get the 60-day signature money-back guarantee to let me prove it to you. And the first 10 to purchase will get my black book of outsourcers from one of the platforms. So let's get started together. You've seen all the stories that this works, and we'll equip you with immediate and lifelong skills to make a change in your business and your life. So be an action taker. Be one of the first 10. Get my special black book bonus by visiting entreholic.com forward slash action. All right, everybody. Well, I've had a blast with you today, and, and so now we'll we'll open it up for some questions, comments, feedback that you may have. I know that uh, I've been taking notes and uh, throughout the, the process, so we've covered a lot here. So type in your chat box, uh, and I'll run through them as, as they come up over the next few minutes here, just to uh, clarify anything. All right, everybody, don't be shy. Come on, here we go. Okay, so I got one <clears throat> from Sarah here. Brad, how do you know you're getting a good outsourcer? Sarah, it's a great question. Um, and that's certainly uh, one of the things that I struggled with initially, and especially before they really refined a lot of the platforms. So the thing is, is that a lot of the platforms, um, you know, like Upwork, as, as I mentioned, have gotten really good at creating checks and balances. Uh, so one of them is this escrow concept. So that whenever you hire an, a, a freelancer, you can... Um, you pay and they know that you're good for the money, but it doesn't get released until you actually approve approve the job, okay? Another is a rating system that they've put in place where you rate the job and rate the performance after it's completed. And given that there's tons of people that do a lot of the similar type of work, they're highly motivated to do a great job. So the rating system is really a good check and balance. And another one is uh, is testing, right? That's one of those that, that you can... Um, that, you know, that a lot of the platforms actually have their own testing systems, depending on what their discipline is. If they say that they're an SEO expert or if they're a content writer, they'll give them a test in English or SEO, and then it publishes their results. So, um, you know, it depends on the platform, but you, you can usually see to those metrics. And the other thing is, is reviews. Uh, aside from the, the, the stars that you give people, and um, but you can also do qualitative written reviews. So there's a lot of ways to really kind of see what, what's going to work. But again, you know, it's ultimately trying them and, and seeing what the quality is of the performance. Uh, okay, let me take another one here. All right, next one from Alan. Alan, uh, so I tried outsourcing telemarketing like you talked about, and the accent was really strong, so it didn't work. Um, yeah, actually, Alan, and I know uh, when we think about, you know, the telemarketing side of it, we all have this perception of what, what that sounds like. But um, I had the problem initially myself, and I just had to further refine my search, like I just mentioned before. You know, really just looking for ones, made it very, very clear in my description that I was looking for a clean English accent. And as I mentioned, I, I think uh, I found this one out of the Philippines. 
And it just took time to interview them and refine and, and really choose the right country because I didn't realize the Philippines was a, a good place and where there's the way that there's, there's not as much of, a, of an accent challenge there. Um, but I'll share this as an overall theme, Alan, and, and to you know, and to everyone. You know, even with all the right rating systems and checks and balances, it you know it's still possible to get a bad egg. You know, it's going to happen. It's a much lower chance than it used to be. But you got to be willing to chalk it up and, and keep and keep learning. But you know, that's part of what we do in this course is we really help show you the right process, exactly how to write job descriptions, which ones work, which ones don't work, uh, and just like what I shared to, to Alan, some of the shortcuts that we found, so that you don't have to do as much trial and error in the in the process. Um, all right, I'll take another question here from Jeff. Uh, is this worth it if I don't have a business yet? Um, so yeah, I, and to everyone, you know, as I mentioned, no matter where you are in your journey, if you're you know starting a company or you're trying to trying to grow a company uh, or you're just trying to expand your career, uh, you may still have a, a regular job. Uh, I've worked with startups to twenty million dollar businesses that, that get value, and they just use it differently. You know, startups apply it directly and do a lot of these things themselves. And then I've had larger companies where you know the, the whole marketing department they want to learn how to do these types of techniques to get things done and automate and delegate and, and make things more efficient. So, uh, so Jeff, can you just type in there? Are you are you using this for your career or are you looking to start a, a business if you don't have one now? Okay, so you're right. So you're wanting to start a business, right? So definitely. I mean, as I shared, when you're starting a company everything from market research to make sure that you're choosing the right product and that you can get the right pricing, getting a website built, getting a logo done, getting initial content written, uh, doing data mining to get some initial lead prospects. And the amount of money that you'll save in getting a business out of the ground and getting your first customers uh, is in invaluable. Um, website, logo, videos, grassroots marketing, uh, all things I was just you know, sharing there. So uh, I think I've covered a lot of great examples, hopefully, that um, show you this is, this is ideal for someone getting a company out of the ground. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, it's funny. All right, so I see a comment here from Stephanie. Brad, this looks great, but I don't have time. Um, well, Stephanie, I certainly understand. Uh, obviously, time is a major theme that we you know we cover today. And I'd have to say, you know, it, it, the grand irony it's it's the people who don't have time, you know, who really need it the most. And Stephanie, you know, I guarantee you, if you if you go through our our course and and in module four, we really identify what you should automate. All right, and, and dump kind of everything that you do daily and segment that out into some different categories. And I almost guarantee that you find the time. And that's really what this is this is about. It goes back to what I was sharing, you know, on the on the earlier slide of, of estimating kind of annual value where I put that five thousand dollar number. Um, you know, depending on how you value your time, it, it's just how can you afford, you know, not to sort of the the old cliche. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I, I didn't want to create a course unless it could rapidly pay for itself with true value and results. That's why I created that whole slide to kind of go through and just show you there's so many different ways. You know, different courses have you know, value in a one dimensional kind of way. This one has such multi dimensional value uh, that you that you learn that can apply in so many different places in business and personal. So um, and, and honestly, you know, Stephen, this is one of the, you know, the best promotions that we'll be offering to get this many bonuses in my black book. Um, for the first 10 that are, that are registering. So, you know, I, I, I challenge you. I think that you'll see that this shows you how to find the time. And, uh, and as you know, there's no risk with the 60 day money back guarantee. Uh, all right. So let me take our next question from Rob. Uh, it seems like there's so much, so what can't be outsourced? All right. <laughs> I think it's kind of a joking, um, on the concept. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's funny. I, I, uh, among my friends and stuff, they always you know, know me as the outsourcing guy. Um, but it's, you know, and they're always amazed that what is the next thing you're going to find to outsource. But, you know, Rob, you're really only limited by your creativity, honestly. Uh, if it can be done by a computer or with the Internet and submitted electronically, it, it can be done. I know that sounds really broad, but it's honestly the, the case. And um, that's part of what I'll uncover. You know, it's how, how you do super crafty things that you'd never think of, like, you know, data mining trade show sites or uh, industry thought leaders or, or getting where a dentist went to dental school to put in the subject line to increase uh, open rates. So, you know, and there's all, you know, we, as, as I mentioned, there's certain you know, limitations on certain sites that, that uh, you pull information from. But, um, but, you know, you can't really outsource mowing the lawn you know, unless you got a real good kid neighbor. But, uh, but Rob, I'll tell you, it, it really, you know, even marketing strategy, as I mentioned, you know, I didn't think I could out, outsource that, at least to get a lot of the heavy lifting done. I found this amazing guy that we use out of Bangkok, who from, who's uh, from South Africa, that uh, is an incredible marketing strategist. And, and, you know, give him some basic information. And he does this, like, 30-slide uh, presentation. So, 
Um, there's a lot of things, and in this course, you know, we go through a bunch of additional case studies to, to show you. Um, all right, so I know we're running tight on time. I'll take another one. One more here uh, from Cindy. Uh, Brad, I have an organic supplement business. Uh, could this really help me? Now, I like taking this because I, you know, to, you know, really apply it to a very specific business. And uh, funny, I was actually speaking at a large um, uh, chamber event uh, recently, and this guy, um, it was a, he had a vitamin shop, um, I think, yeah. I was trying to look, see if I have my note here. Um, but yeah, it was a similar type of thing. And so, you know, aside from what you may need, right, with your, with your business, and I don't know if, um, you know, whether you're, you know, brick and mortar and trying to establish your brand, you know, brand and presence and, or, or having online, and that tends to be, you know, a combination. Um, oh, it's, okay, brick and mortar. So, yeah. So, you know, for example, um, what I shared with this one guy is, is, you know, doing a data mining of all the chiropractors in your area, right? Uh, actually, I actually had a nutritional supplement business uh, before, and, um, and, uh, and it's you know, where all the chiropractors are big on referring, you know, pe their patients to this kind of, um, to, you know, nutritional products and that kind of thing. So, you know, or massage therapists. So you can do a data mining and kind of get their name, their email address, their LinkedIn, LinkedIn account and, and do an outreach to, to use them as referral, you know, referral partners to, to create awareness for, for your business. Cause that's where a lot of, you know, your foot traffic tends to come. Um, so, and there's a number of other ways I could, uh, this is a perfect example of kind of what you could post like in the, in the private Facebook group and people just share a lot of their other ideas that maybe have a similar situation and you know, talk about how they use automation and, and delegation. So, um, well, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Well, I know we're, we're running on, on time and hopefully those questions were, were helpful. Um, and I'm sorry to cut it short here, but I want to be respectful. As I said, I know you got a lot going, going on in your own lives. So it's been a great time sharing all this with you today. And, you know, I, I really hope that you'll come on board and, and join our course. Like I said, it's, it's all about, you know, taking action and want to give you the exact pathway to emulate what we've done and, and uh, achieve some, some lifelong results with this. So all you got to do, visit entreholic.com forward slash action. We look forward to working with you. Take care.